Hey guys, it's Stevie Niss and it's time to go back in time a little bit. Today I'm going to be looking at a game called Theme Hospital, which is a retro classic created by Bullfrog Productions. I can't believe that this game was actually released in 1997. It feels like such a long time ago and I really can't believe that all that time has passed since then. Uh, Theme Hospital is one of those games that I played a lot when I was growing up. It was one of those games that was really addictive and I can remember playing it now. It's similar to games like Theme Park, which were released by the same company and um, it was great fun to play. I think I last played this game and I had sort of Windows 98, which was a long, long time ago. Um, after Windows 98, it became more difficult to get these games running on various PCs. And you could use things like DOSBox, etc. But I never really went down that road. Um, and obviously now as a Mac user, it became very, very difficult to play some of the retro games. Fortunately though, a lot of games from the retro era have been remade and they actually play on Windows and Mac. So a website called GOG.com is actually selling Theme Hospital and a number of other games for Windows and Mac PCs uh, that can be played really, really easily. You can pick up a copy of Theme Hospital from GOG.com for about £1.80, which is about $2.99, I think. So really, really cheap. You can't really complain about that. And it's definitely worth picking it up. Um, I highly recommend it. And there's other games out there as well, such as Magic Carpet, um, all sorts of old classic games that we used to play you know, 15 odd years ago. Um, so it's a great little website and I definitely, definitely recommend it. For those of you that haven't heard of or never played Theme Hospital, where have you been? Um, but basically it's a hospital management simulation and you basically manage your own hospital. So you build it, you create doctor's rooms, you create diagnosis rooms and treatment rooms. Uh, you then employ staff, so doctors, nurses, etc. And you have to run a successful hospital. After the game starts, you get a short period of time to actually build your hospital and you know design and lay it out as you want to. Patients will then start to arrive and you have to start curing those patients. Now, they don't arrive with um, any problems that you'll probably be aware of. Um, they're pretty random and pretty funny, actually, to be honest. Um, so you'll get in things like uh, inflated head syndrome, where you have to pop their head and make sure that they're okay. You do get things like broken bones and stuff, which is common but other random ones as well that you'll never have heard of. So it's quite funny and it, you know, adds a different aspect to the game. Obviously, the more people you cure, the better you're going to do and the more money you're going to make. And then that depends on how you progress to the next level. So you have a set number of people you need to cure per level. And once you've reached that, you can then move on to a bigger and better hospital and start from the beginning again. However, it's not just based on the number of patients you cure. It's also based on your reputation, how well you're doing how much money you have, etc. So you need to think about that as well. You could be doing really well and curing a lot of people, but actually they don't really like your hospital, so you're not going to progress to the next stage. So it's worth thinking about that. I've spent about a day and a half playing this game so far, and I have to say I'm really enjoying it. Um, I didn't think I'd enjoy it quite as much as I have done, but it's uh, good to go back to the retro days and play a good old classic game. So if you're like me and you remember what you used to play, I'd definitely check out GOG.com. There's a lot out there. And I'd definitely recommend picking up Theme Hospital. Uh, it's cheap. You can't go wrong. And trust me, you're going to have fun. So I'll leave you with a bit of the video for now on. And I'll catch you later, guys.
Peter at the hospital. Doctor required in general diagnosis. to require an inflator room.
required in GP's office. Thank you. 